In today's video, I'm going to show you how to um, create and mount and use a um, hard drive image in PCM. You could also do this in 86 box as well. So uh, let's start. Let's start PCM version 17. Here's the setup. Go to the hard drive. I'm just going to empty this, eject it, and just create a new hard drive image. So I want to create a fixed size VHD. So with this format, I should be able to connect to it through Windows 11 or Windows 10 as well. So let's create it. I'm going to call it 8 gigabyte hard drive test. Hard drive A. That's what I'll call this. For the heads, it's 16 always. It can't be anything else. See? I'll try here. Can't be more than 16 for PCM. So the cylinders have to be about 1600 if you want about 8 gigabytes. If you want 4 gigabytes, it's 8,319 to get about 4,000 megabytes. So 1,000 megabytes is 1 gigabyte. So 4 gigabytes, 8,319 cylinders. So I want to use 8 gigabytes, get 8 gigabytes. Okay, I want to fix size. Fix size means it doesn't change. It's fixed at 8. So that's what I want. Okay. Whoops, I'm, I made a mistake here. Little boo boo. I think I have to designate it as being .phd in order to use it. But I could use it like this as well, but there's no association. And you're not going to be able to use it for anything else other than PCM. So that's a problem. So I'll show you what was created when I used it without an extension when I created this without an extension. Okay. I'll show you what was created. This was created. There's no extension to this file. No extension at all. So I'm just going to delete this. And I'm just going to create it, create it again. Um, let's see. Check that, I don't care. Create another one. PhD. 16,000 cylinders. Create it as .phd, add an extension this time. If you want to create an IMG file, then you also have to put an extension to that as well in order for you to it to show as a .img file. It should do it automatically, but, but this program doesn't. You have to put the extension at the back of it to show that it's going to be a .phd file. And I was created. I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to go back to my directory and check. Okay, now it's a dot .ph. Now it's a um, virtual disk file. Format is .phd. Before it was not. So I'm going to start Windows. So what I want to do is I want to get an 8 gigabyte hard drive in Windows. You could also use fdisk to do this. I mean Windows 98 startup disk. But in this video, I'll be using, um, I'll be booting from Windows 98 and doing it. Start it up.
As you can clearly see, D drive is designated as a CD drive. That's because I haven't partitioned the drive yet and formatted it. So in order for me to do that, go to shutdown, go to restart to DOS mode. And um, if you go to DOS mode, this is DOS, so you can press type in F disk. Just like so. Yes. Maybe I'll make this bigger. Um, that's control all page down. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So what do I do? What I do now is I go to display partition information. Okay, that's not what I want. That's four gigabytes is what I'm. What I have Windows ninety eight installed on. So. I want to go to number five and change to partition two. So right now I'm in partition one. I want to go to two. I want to display the information, see what no partitions. It hasn't been partitioned. To create DOS partition or logical DOS drive. Create primary primary extension, DOS partition. It's doing it right now. Do you wish to use the maximum available size for a primary DOS permission? Yes. Press escape. So I want to display the information. Okay, now it shows us as 7,868 megabytes. That's about 7.868 gigabytes. Good. Escape, escape, escape. So I want to go back into Windows. And I should be able to see D drive as a hard drive. My computer. If I try to use this, I can't because it's not formatted. So I must format the hard drive. So I'll go to format. Seven thousand eight hundred sixty-seven point seven megabytes, or seven point eight six seven gigabytes. Start. Okay. Now this is going to create the DOS, uh, it's going to format the hard drive so I can use it in Windows. Back in the Windows 95, 98 days, I think the biggest hard drive that I had, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe it was 4 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes. I think it was a Seagate um, or a Maxtar, Maxtar hard drive or something. That's what I was using back then. Uh, but Windows 98 is capable of using up to, I think, 137 gigabytes. But I don't think uh, you, you'll be able to use 137 gigabytes because uh, your BIOS on your motherboard has to support it first. I don't think a lot of... Um, motherboards supported it in the firmware back in the day so 8 was probably the biggest hard drive 8 gigabytes was probably the biggest hard drive i had back in i think 1999 or something then when i went to the when i uh when you get to the windows xp age which is around 2001 i think it was about maybe 40 gigabytes hard drive that was like that was like pretty standard or max not maximum but standard for 2001 you had up to 180 to 160 gigabytes as well i should be able to use this this should be usable
Okay. Close it. Close it. This is working, so I should be able to transfer files to this folder. Transfer files here. I'm going to send a message. I want to do is I need to shut this down. Computer management, see if I can access that. Go to storage. Go to disk management. Click on anything there. Go to uh, PhD. Get the one that I created and see if I can open that. I can open that up. This is the file that I put in. And I'll, I... Fine. How are you doing today? David? I'll just put some other files in here. See. Those files in there. This should be mounted on my hard drive. This one right here. This is the hard drive that I mounted. Eight gigabytes. Uh, let's see what kind of format this is. I think it's FAT32. Yeah, it's FAT32. That's what the hard drive um, format was back in the Windows. 98 days and before Windows 98 you had Windows 95 that was FAT16 now I want to go here and go here and detach VHD so I could use it on PCM, so it's not there anymore. Good. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, I want to go back. Start it up. This is a Pentium 2, uh, emulating a Pentium 2 motherboard, so... It should be able to support an 8 gigabyte hard drive or larger. If you have a Pentium 1 um, socket 5 or a socket 7, it may not, the BIOS may not support larger hard drives for some reason. Here it is. These are the files that I sent. Okay, good. So I got the message. I'm able to transfer files from Windows 98, which I'm emulating, to a modern Windows 11 based computer. So that's what I want to do.
show you today. And you could do this with uh, F disk, of course. I made a tutorial video about that, and uh, I think that's it. So, anyways, uh, if you have any questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.